Well, hey there, friends. Welcome to episode number 123 of It'll Be Fine, the socially distant baking food chat show. I'm your friend and your pal, Kelly Zemnikas. I've started to take pictures off the wall, stuff out of the kitchen. I'm moving soon, friends. We're going to have a brand new kitchen to bake and cook in come June. So uh, we're taking the month of May off just as a heads up. I'm going to be in a brand new space. I'm really excited. Um, so for the uh, three remaining episodes here in this kitchen, we're starting that off today, and we're making today, friends, Neiman Marcus cookies. There is a story behind these cookies, and I'm so excited to tuck into this. I really am. And I am baking today alongside an incredible writer, such a funny gal, just talented actor, baker, she runs a fabulous Instagram and newsletter called Two Little Sandwiches. Please, please, please check it out. Uh, Jan Caruana is on the show today. I've known Jan for a mighty long time, and I am so glad I got to call her a friend. She is a superstar, and I'm really glad she is here with me to make these cookies. We are going to get into this in just a few minutes. And on today's show, we are offering love, offering attention to our friends at Amfar. It's the American branch of what we have here in Canada, Canfar, and locally ACT. They're taking care of our friends who are affected by HIV and AIDS. And uh, if you're at all able to help them out, either financially or maybe volunteer, uh, info on them is in the show description. Please, please, please offer them some love. Alrighty, guys, it's going to be time for us a fancy cookie party with Kelly and Jan. It's going to be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Right, so here is what we need to do this Neiman Marcus cookie. And look, my mom faxed that to me back in 2001. You can try faxing it now. I don't know if anyone will pick up. But uh, here is the recipe. Now, the curious thing about the ingredients is where you see it says soda. I don't know if they mean baking soda or like the beverage, but I'm going with baking soda. We'll see what happens. So we have baking soda. We have baking powder there. Uh, we need an egg. Um, we've got, I should mention, I am really batching down for this. So I'm only going to use one egg. The recipe in full calls for four. I've got some uh, breakfast cereal here, some hemp breakfast cereal. I'm going to use that as like my crunch. We need vanilla extract. We need salt. We need chocolate chips and a chocolate bar. I'm going to use this beautiful bar my, fin my friend Beatrice uh, sent me from Austria. So Beatrice, thank you so much for that. Um, we need some brown sugar. We need some white sugar. I mentioned the butter. We need blended oatmeal and all-purpose baking flour. And that's what you need to do this cookie. Jan's going to be here in just a minute. I am. I'm going back to Etobicoke. <laughs> yeah. Here. Uh, moving in with my new roommates, a.k.a. mom and dad. Oh, I love that. They're pretty excited. Based, uh, I think, heavily on the food alone, um, because they're big fans of their show, and they're happy that I'll be cooking. <laughs> and quite frankly, um, because with this recipe especially, we had to batch down for this, but now I have people who can eat my food. Yeah. So that's... That's nice. That's such a bonus. Like when you bake a lot or you have to bake a lot for your chosen, <laughs> your chosen destination in life, um, the lockdown has been really hard because you, you don't necessarily want to give food to like, like I'll sometimes take food down to like our concierge or something, but I'm always a bit like, you don't have to eat it. Like I get it. Like it's, yeah. fun. I washed my hands. So the beauty of doing this show for me, I don't know about you, but I have collected over the years, so many recipe cards or things I've ripped out of a magazine. Percentage wise, how many of them would you say you have made out of what you have in your collection? Well, my collection, I, I try to live 
sparely. Like I try to live sparsely, as, as sparsely as I can, which is not sparsely at all. As you can see from my shelf, it's not, this is not uh, Marie Kondo. And this is not the Marie Kondo. This is like the condo that Marie was like, no thanks. But um, I think, cause what I do is I'll see something on the internet and I'll go, oh, I'll email that to myself and I'll make that this week. And uh, so percentage wise of that, I would say, I would say like 25%, maybe 30%. Yeah. But I think I, I can do it right away. But if I don't do it right away, then I don't do it. Right. Because, and you didn't see this in the photo I sent you, but this cookie recipe we are doing today, the Neiman Marcus cookie recipe, I don't know if you can see at the top there, my mother sent this to me in December of 20. Oh, one. Who's Is that a one? fax number? This was faxed to me. People, you can try to fax it. It was the Air Force office at CDC. <laughs> <laughs> John <laughs> Ferguson's like, what? Is that why we getting these faxes? So I got my nameplate. I stole that when I left CDC. You were smart to do so. They told me I wasn't supposed to, but who else who, is going to use it? Another Kelly Zemnekis is going to come work there. We had it, it was here. So my mother faxed this to me when I was on Air Force. In 2001, uh, you weren't, I mean, we were using email, but maybe not to the veracity we use it now. So apparently this was quite the thing to have been sent around. The woman at the top of it says, I've received this about 300 times. <laughs> But I kind of, I vaguely remember this because I, I don't think I was like as big a baker as I am now in 2001, uh, like 20 years ago. I was, I was eight. Um, <laughs> uh, but I, I vaguely remember this, like, I think this was like one of those first viral memes oh. because someone was like, I had to, do you want to tell the story? You should tell the story. It's your show. Well, sure. Um, I, I will, I will, we can do it together. We'll do it in tandem. I'll start this off. So a mother and daughter went to this fancy department store called Neiman Marcus, which I'm assuming still around, but I quite frankly. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like it's like a New York City type. We're having lunch at Neiman's. Exactly. Yeah. With a fancy hat. Or yeah, something. sure. <laughs> um, and they had a small dessert. It says here, we decided to, uh, oh, they were in Dallas. So I guess they're all over the place. I uh, probably in fancy hats, but um, so they decided to have a small dessert and we decided to try the Neiman Marcus cookie in quotes. It was so excellent. They asked for the recipe and was told you can't have it. So she said, can I buy the recipe? And the waitress said, sure. Do you know the rest of the story, Jen? I do. Go ahead. So then uh, the, the woman was presented, the woman from Dallas was presented with her bill and it said something like, correct me if I'm wrong, but it was like Neiman Marcus cookie recipe, $250. And the lady, because they were in Texas was like, excuse me, y'all, excuse me. This must be a mistake. Cause we just had this cookie. This can't be a $250 cookie. And the waitress was like, the server was like, yeah, it is. And then she teased out her beehive and said, well, if I'm paying $250 for this cookie, everybody's getting this recipe. And she blasted it. And she did. I got it in Toronto in December of 2001. <laughs> Lady, I tip my hat to you. And it makes like 110 cookies or something. I know. And so even to half that, you're like, oh, I'm, I'm getting 55 cookies out of this bad boy. Welcome what? to the pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, everyone, in, if you live in Jan's building, uh, yeah. you love cookies at your door. Um, yeah, if you're in the Broadview Danforth area. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be handing them out at Davisville Station. Um, yeah, uh, this, this recipe does a lot of cookies. So I went down like, I think I did a third of this. Oh, wow. You were smart. I just, I got out the kitchen scale and went to town. Now, my, my question, and maybe a stupid question, it says two teaspoons of soda. Does she mean baking soda or the beverage? I used baking soda. So did I. Okay. Yeah. 
Because I it looks the thing about this recipe is it doesn't look that different from any other cookie recipe. Yeah. The only major difference is they say grate a Hershey bar. Now I halved the recipe. Yeah. I did not half the Hershey bar. I used the whole Hershey bar. That's that's a good call. I am not going with a Hershey bar. My friend Beatrice in Austria sent me this for Christmas. And I'll be using a part of this for yes. the grating, uh, which I'll which I'll do. But if you've got a Hershey bar, I did use Hershey kisses, like little chocolate chip things for it. So yeah. there'll be some Hershey in it. Um, are you doing nuts for this one? Well, I sent my my dear boyfriend to the store. And he went to the store. I didn't send him, but he went to the store. I said, could you pick me up a Hershey bar and uh, milk chocolate? And he came back with this, which looks delicious, almonds. So all I did was I grated this down and I, I omitted the nuts because I was like, we'll get a little nut in there. Yeah, that's fair. I ended up going with uh, Farm Boy, which is a chain here in I don't know if they're all over Ontario, but they're in Toronto. They're freaking awesome. I love Farm Boy. Uh, this has some pecans and some hemp seeds and some pumpkin in it. So, did you pick out the pecans, or were you just like, did you just go for it? Gave it. It's good. I think I think pecans in this cookie would be amazing, and I think the like nuts and seed situation that you know going on is going to be delicious. I think it should work out all right. So this recipe is not. Um, I mean, there's a lot of bowls here. The bowl count on this mise en place is pretty high. <laughs> yeah. This is a sturdy amount of bowls here. Um, but the recipe itself is not complicated whatsoever. If you've not already done so, Jan, uh, turn your oven on to 375. That is step number one. It's basically a cookie recipe. If you're, if you're out there watching, yeah. you've made cookies before, this is not an intimidating recipe. It's mm. it's no different than any other cookie recipe I've made. I know. Was it worth two fifty? We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I've been to a Neiman Marcus in my day. Uh, never had this cookie. So, you know what I did do? Mm. Um, have you ever been to a Double Tree? I think it's a double tree or a Hilton or something. And they greet you a hotel and they greet you with warm cookies. Yes, I did make those ones. I think, I think everywhere we go, we should be greeted with a warm cookie. Yeah, even just the bus. <laughs> <laughs> Getting on the bus and the bus driver's like, here you go. I have, a, I have a cup of butter here. Excellent, I got that too. Now this just says butter. I went with unsalted. Yeah, I, I actually started baking with salted butter oh. uh, when I couldn't find unsalted butter on sale, like around Christmas. And I was like, well, for the things I'm making, like cookies and whatever, it often calls for, for salt. So I, and this is not something that I made up. This is something that everybody says. I just omitted the salt. Exactly. Yeah. So, but I used unsalted as well. I did I'm putting my sugars in. What are you doing? So I've got my sugars and my butter in. I'm gonna stick this in my little KitchenAid and give it a mix. There were a bunch of uh, Toronto comics who did this thing on Twitch in the summer of 2019. Um, it was a 24-hour comedy thing where they had shows, they had stand-up, they had music, whatever. And so I submitted an idea to bake with a comedian and I got an hour slot. They picked me to do it. So that's where this show comes from. That's great. And, and it was put on this thing called Twitch, which I'd never heard of. Stand-ups were doing stand-up sets to a camera on their laptop to no one. And when I think of where the world ended up months later, it kind of blows my mind. <laughs> yeah, it's their fault. They started it. They started this. I'm getting my spatula. Yes. Oh, Kelly, have you ever seen these? No. It's a wooden spoon. It's called like a spurtle or a spurtle. I'm, I'm not sponsored. This is not a commercial. <laughs> but they're so handy. A spurtle. It's you like something like the Swedish chef would say. Yeah, like spurtle. Spur -de -de but you can use them to like scoop. You can use them to stir. Like I have, I have like two or three. And they're just like, they're so handy. Anyway, I just. That's I great. Care. I just have my tiny little plastic thing, but I like what you got. I also use that. That's so good. <laughs>
sometimes you just can't like you can't escape the things that you are used to exactly mine looks good all right this, i'm pretty happy with this it looks nice and nice and beach sandy yeah now we are going to add egg vanilla and then all the dry stuff so i'm only going to do one egg because i'm doing like a third of what the recipe calls for calls for four eggs um i'm doing two because i have yeah. do you have any egg cracking tricks this is my egg cracking trick oh that i got no egg cracking trick that's good i think that's it was it. Yves Rocher had a had a perfume that smelled like butter pecan or oh, yeah. something like sugar cookie thing that was so 90s those like smelling like a cookie mm -hmm. or like fuzzy peach do you remember fuzzy peach yeah. perfume from the body from the body shop yeah 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 it wasn't body shop but do you remember tribe oh i do remember Tribe. i remember the name i can't remember the smell it smelled like candy do you remember um electric youth by debbie gibson yes <laughs> I remember a boy got me that for like my birthday and I was like, oh my gosh. Wow. Like, this is my signature scent. I was like, I don't know. <laughs> Great six or seven. <laughs> I'm going to add in uh, the flour, the oatmeal, which they suggest you grind it to a fine powder. Yeah, which I did. Yeah. Salt, baking powder, and the mysterious soda. <laughs> I guess this is something that's a little bit different than most chocolate chip cookie recipes is the oatmeal. Yeah. But what feels weird to me, again, mm -hmm. is that usually when you add oatmeal to a recipe, um, you lessen the flour. Right. But no dice here. No. no dice. Nope. So I, I put all mine in here, all my flour and stuff. And the bake time on this isn't too bad either. It's about 10 minutes. Like, it's a rainy day here in Toronto. It's kind of a perfect day for a fancy cookie. Is that a David Bowie mug? That, you're not the only person to ask that. No. Um, so my brother owns a coffee company, Thrill Coffee. Ta -da! This is their logo. It's really cool. It's super cool and very Bowie-esque. It is Bowie-esque. Yeah. Absolutely. But uh, yeah. yeah. I'm, drinking a, I'm drinking a coffee right now. It's got a great name from that wonderful accident that happened with the lawyer and the cat filter called I'm Not a Cat. <laughs> <laughs> Does that brother live here? Is that a Toronto based company? Yeah, they're in Mimico. They deliver all across Canada. They're not in the States yet, but they, you know, they hopped on everyone's need for coffee and not being able to venture out to a coffee shop and started this great subscription service so smart yeah good on I, I love it when people are like let's just pivot we're just pivoting exactly yeah so um with your chocolate chips because this is another thing that they don't say did you use milk or did you use dark i went with milk chocolate because again you're right you're free you're just free flowing here yeah, you're free balling. Free balling. All right. Put in there. You just a little bag for me. It's balls. Yay. Yay! All right. Fun. What's your, what's your method of, of preference in the ball department? <laughs> what do you like in a ball, Kelly? <laughs> I just go dirty when I hear balls. I just do. I really do. Um, it's fine. Uh, I'm, not, I'm gonna try to make uh, my balls not too big. I'm gonna try to be modest about my ball size. Um, I'm gonna just do like a little hand rolling like uh, that. I'm gonna use this cookie scoop. Nice. Some people call it an ice cream scoop. I don't think I've ever used it for ice cream. I use, I've got a slightly larger ice cream scoop that would make a much too big of a cookie. So I'm just gonna free. Yeah, you know what, looking at these, they're going to be too big. <laughs> hey, I like a girthy ball. We are ladies who deserve big balls. That's right. right. Listen, if you're out there and you're watching this and you're ashamed because you want a girthy ball, 
Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. No. I wonder because sometimes you make a, like a famous recipe and yeah. you're like, this is trash. <laughs> There's no way that this is the recipe. <laughs> and I think when it's a famous recipe, either like it's been bastardized down the line yeah. Or it, um, or the person who puts it out is like, well, you think this is in my cookbook? Here's a little taste of the recipe. Right. <laughs> I'm not saying that big cookbook is behind this. No, but. no, exactly. Um, you've got a point though, and and also as this has gotten passed around, maybe someone could have had a bit of a laugh and just, yeah. uh, I'll just fudge this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but now, now that I've said all that, now that I've put my cute conspiracy theories <laughs> out into the world, yeah. these actually look pretty good. Like the consistency of them is, is yeah. Like this is what I've got going here. This oh, is you're good. fast. Oh, thanks. This looks pretty all right. So. I don't know that I'll make, let's see, how many? I'm going to get a dozen here. I think I might just freeze the rest. I think that's what I'm going to do too. I did a, I did a cool six. Oh, right. Oh, lovely. Because I think they're going to spread. I think they're going to get really big. Yeah. Um, let's see. Maybe I'll do. But the, the nice thing about, especially a chocolate chip cookie recipe is that I don't know what you do, but sometimes I'll just like roll it into a log and just throw it in the freezer. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna I, do. Yeah, like I don't even have, I don't even do balls, like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna log it. All right, so I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna do 11, a fun number. Do, do you squish yours? Do you think that they're gonna go flat or do you think they're gonna stay bally? Uh, see, that's another thing this doesn't say. I'm gonna I, stay bally. I'm gonna stay bally. stay bally. I think they're gonna spread. Let's see, let's see what happens. All right. This is the cliffhanger of the episode. Da, da, da. <laughs> All right. Okay. What happened? So this is to bake for 10 minutes, but every oven's different. So that as a guideline. All righty. Okay. I'm nervous with anticipation. My, my friend gave me a peanut butter cookie and she was like, these cookies are from, I don't know, like far away. And, uh, and I'm sharing them with you. And I was like, oh my God, don't give me these cookies. Like you had to travel to get them safely, safely. <laughs> you had to travel to get them. They're your favorite cookie. Like it's a peanut butter cookie. I was like, don't share these, like enjoy these. And she said, no, 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 I'm giving you two because maybe you can go into the kitchen uh, and see what's up. So now I've kind of made a, a little bit of a mission to like do better by these peanut right. butter cookies, by my regular peanut butter cookies. Mm -hmm. And I think like it's it's made me a little bit more courageous in, in the baking realm, which was great. Oh, yeah. um, so I think I've done round one. They were okay. I think I'm going to do round two maybe next week. So if anybody needs a peanut butter cookie, there will be lots. <laughs> Just hang out in Janet's apartment building. Yeah. <laughs> DM me. DM me for, uh, <laughs> for the address. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Can you imagine? That's too funny. I have, I have a secret, uh, just totally selfish secret wish that, Someone's going to come in and look at the apartment because they're, they're showing it. Um, and someone's going to be like, are you from that baking show? That's my secret wish. But <laughs> I believe that those things happen. Oh, dude. I used to do some uh, commentary stuff on TMZ Live on their, on their web series. And when I worked at Bunner's Bake Shop, uh, Kensington Market in Toronto, I had a customer look at me and said, I know you. You're on TMZ. <laughs> yeah you think like oh i'm just doing oh, this whatever but like people watch they do yeah they do i was on that show for three years really yeah and they didn't pay me uh i wasn't i wasn't like an employee even though i kept sending the story producer my resume of like can you guys put me on staff um but 
anytime I made Harvey Love and Laugh, they would send me swag. That's how they paid me. Oh, so I have, I have my, I don't know if I have it here handy. Oh, I do. Um, like I've got TMZ mugs. I have pens. I have shirts. Um, the funniest part, though, I was never allowed to use any of this when I did my segments because they didn't want people to think I would have been on the show before. Oh, I have one second left. Oh, these okay. beautiful. I don't hate this. Oh, girl, these look good. These look good. Dude, look what I got. Wowie wah wah. Whoa. Look what, what I got. What do yours look like? Oh. Oh. Do you know, do you want to know my Instagram hack? Oh, yeah. Cookies. It's not mine, but you know how you see a cookie on Instagram and you're like, wow, 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 that cookie. So yeah. I'll show you the before. They look great. They're perfect yeah. little, little guys. No problem. No shame. Nope. But you want to like up that. You take a little handful of chippies. And while the cookie's still warm. Oh, girl. You just pop a couple in. And then they kind of look, yeah. they look a bit more like, oh, like these look like they should be in a package of something. Yeah. So we'll let these cool for a little bit so we don't burn our mouths completely. Are you a milk drinker? I, I usually am. Uh, specifically oat beverage. I'm a girl who enjoys her oat beverage. Um, but uh, I don't have any, but I had my coffee, so. Just as good. Have some coffee with my cookies. Well, I think mine might be a little underdone. You know what? I'm going to pop mine back in for just a sec. I'm glad you mentioned that because I see a couple of them cracked a little bit and I feel like it could use just a bit more heat. I'm so, going to put mine in for like a minute. Yeah. I find I notice it often, but I feel like this guy is frowning. Oh, well, yeah. He's sad. Yeah. That's a sad cookie. And I feel like this one, there's another one. Like, kind of with their tongue sticking out. But anyhow. But on the opposite side, if I turn the sad guy around, smiling. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, everyone's going to want to be my best friend and eat me first. <laughs> oh, man. This, in the, this in smells the good. Case narrative, sorry. Go ahead. I was just going to say, this smells good. I yeah. Wish the house smells pretty good right now. Yeah. I'm still batching up my freezer dough. Like, one. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm not gonna dip, I'm just gonna do a full taste. Bon appetit. Here. All right. Oh, dang. That's a very good cookie. I have goosebumps. Oh. That's something that makes you a bit sad. Oh. You taste it and you're like, no oh, man, that's going to be over one day. <laughs> you know? Look at that. This, this cookie is your college sweetheart. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. This is a first love springtime cookie. Mm -hmm. You know what makes the difference? Mm. I know I, I bulked, I scoffed, but that Hershey bar in there, mm. terrific. Mm -hmm. Because you're not, you know when you eat a chocolate chip cookie, you just get like the chocolate chip, even if it's melty. Mm. Here you're getting chocolate throughout the cookie. And that oatmeal, the texture is so good. Right? Yeah. And for me, I've got that added crunch of my, my pumpkin and hemp seed granola that I stuck in here. But you get that little bit of salt. Yeah. These beautiful melty chocolate chips. Like, when you can get that in a cookie, no, man, they're yeah. weird. That's a hot damn of a cookie right there. Oh, This is... 
You out of makeup. Oh, yeah. I'll fax it to you. 